All right. So here we are uh, trying to complete the project here. We got all the parts and pieces from Lee Howe's uh, Great Northern Railroad, which came down for the trestle. So the first thing I did was make a, a new micro scale engineering bridge track deck piece, which is right over here. And that's the micro scale engineering deck uh, track, deck track. It's code 83. Uh, we had to put it put it together right here. We had it wasn't one section wasn't long enough. Then after we cleaned up all the pieces, we have glued them. We figured out where the bents would fall. We made a mark and uh, we're working to each end. Uh, figured it out in the middle to how the bents, these will, uh, the braces will go on these pieces here. One there, one there, one there, and then all the way back here will be one. So we're going to have to fit in a piece at the end that's going to sit on a uh, concrete block or better known as a 1x3 uh, cut and painted to look like concrete. And the same thing on this end, we have to get it to fit on it, this end. But this is all glued on here now and it's drying. So let's move over here. This is the way the pieces came when I got them. Uh, I'm going to have to guess that they used Ambroid glue because I'm scraping it off with an X-Acto knife. And then I have to make the ends fit a little bit different. Uh, uh, modified them, cut them down, sanded them so that the, we have a little closer fits as it goes around. Uh, I'm going to take the approach. This trestle kind of was designed to come apart, which works out in my favor. But uh, in my case, uh, we're not going to be so generous. Uh, we're using cement, plastic cement glue. So this becomes more uh, very rigid because uh, we'd like to be able to have it pretty much stand up on its own with one temporary support while we get everything else built up to the bottom. So, you know, here we go. We'll have to show you the steps as we go. But this is the uh, trussel construction. So, actually one of these will cut up to uh, fit on the end. That's the last two pieces. The trussel was longer uh, on Lee's layup. We've already, we've already modified this uh, stand bent part of the trussel. We cut off the bottom section. I guess what the easiest way I can show you that is this was, these two were the same, and I just cut them off. Now one's lower, but. So if this one goes pretty much right in this location right here, we have a distance because the track heads will be the same. And that's not the thing. So the trick is here, once I get the trussle in place, it's going to be to do this, get it up. Then I'll have to do something with the bottom and fill that in. Same thing on the other end with the shorter ones. Um, I think we're going to cut those off at a 45 to play like they're at different heights on where they're mounted. Get a little fancy here. So moving ahead on the installation of the trestle on the big scene. Ah, so now we have uh, remove the temporary connection. The plywood has been cut out. And the trestle and the new track is sitting there. Not connected yet. And we have a temporary support. It was there before, but actually it works out to where it... I haven't put the level across there, but it's so close. It's perfect for working on this. 
So, as I told you before, we're going to put the trestle in place, get it level across the top, either with strings or whatever, to make sure it's uh, in place. Then we're going to build everything up to the bottom of those points where it connects. To put all my plastic buildings together, thanks to Mr. Jim Laughlin, who taught me this one a long time ago. Use Model Masters liquid cement for plastic models, and it comes in this black case. And there's your product number, uh, 8872. Uh, we were having some trouble, and it has a metal tip on it. And believe me, this bottle of glue will go a long way. I thought I ran out months ago, but I keep doing things, and it keeps coming out, so until it's completely empty we're not going to go open up another one. So, buy a couple of them at a time, keep them around. Uh, it's the old story. If you don't do that, when you need it the most, you'll run out. But this is the one we use. And uh, put all the plastic buildings together with it. Uh, so, we've gotten the trestle, like I said, put together as far as the top part, the deck the supports. Now we're trying to work the bents and the scenery around it into it. Uh, the world's greatest tool used with uh, styrofoam. Believe me. Uh, a little bit on the expensive side to get a hold of one, but if you're going to do this, this is the tool you got to have. Uh, fortunately, my neighbor across the street has it and I borrow it so I haven't had to invest in purchasing one but as you can see right here where I have added the pieces on by just taking that flat blade on the side I was able to it all stuck out and I carved it off now the inside there is still all smooth and flat I have not run the height knife over it I have a little filling in back in the corner uh, you can see the black marks where the base is for the uh, bent, the legs, uh, and I got a little work to do on that back edge so it's not a 90 degree corner. Uh, Mother Nature doesn't have those either. So we've got to take care of that corner in the back back there. And we also have to get this platform area right here up. Again, the, the skewer sticks. Uh, styrofoam they're, they're holding things in place right now while the glue is drying uh, we put in the concrete supports uh, on the end uh, a little bit of uh, basswood cut it that'll end up being concrete color but we went in this morning on the ends and painted the end of the pieces back there black uh, that won't end up black as far as what you see but it's the old story, it's uh, uh, you look down through the tracks and or various places, so you want to cover up the things that may show, uh, and black basically takes it and, and makes it disappear. Don't want some big white spot back there that the prying eyes are going to catch. So it's better to take the time and just, while you got things open, color it out. Now we'll get the concrete and course you know it rusted and we're gonna have to have rust stains and so forth still got work to do over here on this side creating the platform and uh, filling in we got some spots in here that we need to put foam in and so forth um, but this is where we are now this bent pretty much right here our trestle section is very very close to where it's gonna be finally uh, what my plan is is we're just missing by quarter inch or so is to put some concrete foots down at the bottom uh, I'll make them out of wood and um, a little bit bigger than the uh, landing devices uh, paint them con once I get them in place then I'll do all the rest of the scenery work and then come back to the last thing and paint them okay so we've got the all the platforms in place as to where the trestle uh, bents are going to go and 
uh, all the foam pretty much in place. It's much carving as I want to do on it with a, a hot knife. Um, so now we're at the stage where we need to go get some mud. Cal Coat 127. And we're going to start filling in cracks and stuff. Uh, like back there along that edge. We'll seal all that up so it looks good. And there's some other places to make it all blend in. And we're going to figure out where the bridge is going to go here in the front. Uh, we're going to have to cut some plywood and all kind of stuff to get it all in, but it'll be interesting. Uh, so, moving right ahead here. Next step is uh, get the mud on it this afternoon so it'll dry. So I can set the trussle in place, put the bents in place, and run some trains across it tomorrow. <laughs> there you go. See you later. I'm in, uh, moving ahead. Well, the mud's in place. So now the drying begins. Uh, it's about 5, 4, 30, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. So we'll let this dry in tomorrow. And then we'll come back and put our base coat of paint in. And then we'll start trying to fit the pieces in. So we get trains rack across here. Okay, so it's the next day uh, for our project here on the uh, finishing up, putting the trussle in place, and we've uh, allowed the mud to dry overnight. And uh, we're in a position now we can put the paint on it. Mm, it's not 100% dry in all the places, but it's dry enough that uh, it will finish drying up as the paint does so we're in good shape here so the next step is to color all this in all right so we've gotten the uh, paint on uh, that old white and brown mixed up sprinkled some fine turf around and some weeds while the paint was wet makes good glue um, and now we got to get the truss in place. Mm, we have to get a temporary fix here. So, this is uh, getting real close now. Are we getting to the point now of permanent installation here? The uh, three bents that you see in there now are permanently installed. Um, we're doing the little uh, bridge right here and creating the little ravine. I got to finish cutting the front, but uh, I got some pieces drying there with the clamps on them. We cut the track coming across the front so we can get the uh, bridge track and uh, trying to finish this up. This is going to be our bridge, uh, which is going to go in here in the uh, location right here. Uh, we uh, changed it up a little bit because we made the uh, creek running through here a lot smaller, so we didn't need the other bridge. And this one fit better also going to be able to move that uh, track out about a quarter inch or so because it got when we were at test ran some cars I had to slice a little bit of the foam off because it was really really tight right there so we'll be able to move that over a little bit and end up with a little bit better track so that's our bridge well we're getting clo uh, closer <laughs> as time marches on uh, we have cut the track, we've cut the plywood, we've cut out the creek, we've put the styrofoam in, and we've mudded it in. Now we're standing here waiting, uh, should I say, uh, waiting for it to uh, dry. The bridge is uh, set, the uh, 
concrete blocks that it's going to sit on or in place. The track is cut to fit in. All oh, that's cut. Uh, tomorrow, this is uh, late in the afternoon. Uh, that'll all be dry. So here we are, ready to go again. And uh, test run over the completed trestle. We're missing our water tanks for the fire buckets. So basically at this point uh, the scenery and the truss hole is complete. We have some details to go uh, get the stands for the water uh, fire buckets up here that come as part of the uh, micro scale uh, trestle track. It includes the uh, little stands and uh, stuff to make the uh, for the fire buckets because again those are wooden ties even though it's steel trestle you would have something up there just in case uh, since we still run steam we wouldn't want some ember to get on there and start the uh, deck from burning up the creek bed is finished here uh, with the runoff from up the mountainside or should I say cliffside mm. so anyway what we do is we're gonna put a little two-part epoxy in the bottom here after we get some weeds planted to give the semblance of some water in the uh, creek and we have a few more uh, scenery details but uh, basically uh, this gets it in the completed stage and uh, probably move on to something else here very quickly so this finishes the uh, scene here the end of the orb big plan scene from back in 2008 when it was started finally got around to doing it <laughs> don't get a rush people with your model railroad building it's half the fun of it we'll take a walk around the edge here and take a look at the sides
and this is the town of Silverville. And this is No Name City, and up behind it, hundreds of miles away, is the world famous Apex Industrial Area. So at this point, we'll call it a conclusion, and this will wrap the video up on this uh, whole, uh, the two parts, this part and the first part on the... Uh, the big scene on the Grande Pacific and our attention will be switched to that big block of styrofoam right there. Mm. Rocky Loop, here we come. Covering in uh, helixes, creating tunnels and the Door River Bridge. Gee, Royal Gorge Approach. I guess you'll just have to wait and see. And in the industry, this is known as a teaser. Have fun, run trains uh, from the Grande Pacific. See you later. Or as I would say in some of my other videos, see you real soon. The Reefer Express.